Okay, this is this is going to be a very complex how to beautiful bay Grants North oysters. Carolina. And we've come to get some oysters. We're gonna have to make a hairpin turn. Hold on. And don't now. go in the ditch. Hold on. Look at that pelican. That's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, a pelican pooped on my van. We have to hope we hope that they they have oysters today. We do. I bet they do. Place is always just teeming with people. <laughs> yeah. No, this is how we like it. Yeah. Shh, don't tell anybody. Y'all got any oysters? Hi, kitty cat. Hi, kitty cat. You get some fish today? That's probably a good three dozen there, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's about what we'll eat. What are we? What about? Okay. Pay the man, honey. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, you want me to in a, in a box? Uh, I'll just set them in the back of the truck. Uh, I'll just put them in the truck. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. You have a great day, sir. Uh -huh. Okay. I was just kidding. We're freaking out here in North Carolina because it got below 30 degrees last night. So we're making some clam chowder, y'all. Look at this beautiful mural that someone painted on this stucco. That's what I used to do for a living in, in Hollywood and in, in Los Angeles. <clears throat> I've decided to go to Amen Street, Amen Street, Oyster Bar for a lunch. Maybe get a salad, maybe get some oysters. I'm in the Amen Oyster House today. And I've just ordered a half dozen of these, these guys here. Savage Blood. Mm. The Caesar salad. A taller bottle works better, but this is doing great. Just a key ring, folks. What does that look like? I don't know. This is me. My cubicle. Oh, boy. steam what is it about 10 below <laughs> not quite <laughs> i think it's like 28 degrees okay so it does not get this cold often here it does get this cold here but it's only a few days north carolina winter <laughs> lasts for about two or three days then it gets up in the 70s 80s and then we get a second winter it lasts for two or three days about a month later and then we get one final one in march yep and nobody knows how to drive on icy roads so we have mayhem everywhere yep might as well just stay home you're welcome
What are you making? Blue does, cheese, the does, best blue cheese dressing ever. Bro, does your wife even make blue cheese? We got this jar that she puts it in. She makes it with sour cream. And she makes it from scratch. Like you make your own mayo with uh, eggs and uh, avocado oil mm -hmm. and lemon. So you don't have any polyunsaturated yep. fatty acids. So it's very, very, it's not only the best blue cheese you've ever had, it's, it's so very, good. very healthy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to stick a little bit of uh, lemon zest in here. Mm -hmm. I just love lemon zest in, just... in just a, so many dishes, but, but yeah. clam chowder is made for lemon mm -hmm. zest. Are you drooling? Ow! <laughs> just kidding. That red on Don't there is from red, red uh, broccoli. Red broccoli. Oh, yeah. Lemon zest is so underrated. Yeah. It's so good. Purple broccoli, or purple cauliflower is what oh, I was. Yeah. Good stuff. Oh, yummy. Mm. Oh, I when it gets cold, we panic in North Carolina. <laughs> you run to the store and get bread and eggs. <laughs> Even if you don't need bread and eggs. I've got a sausage in there. And Lobster bouillon, I happen to have some celery, onions, parsley, cilantro, cream. We're just getting started. Maybe in a minute, just a little bit of uh, nutritional nutritional yeast. Mm. Also, I like to add a touch of vermouth and a little bit more than that. And a tiny bit of, of sherry, like cream sherry. That adds a little bit of sweetness to it, but don't add too much of that in a lot of butter. And then you take a little sip yourself. Just you kidding. Sip that. My wife hates hates oh, vermouth, but it's like so it. she likes it and cook in my cooking. Yeah. A little bit more of that. Take yeah. a sip. Little cilantro microgreens. Cilantro microgreens. Mm. Oh, do you know that I'm over sixty? Don't look to me for advice. Yeah, I don't I don't know if a farm jack is overkill, but <laughs> you get her up. Now is the time when I bring every tool that I own to bear against this tiny truck, you see. Think. What are you doing, cutie? He's so cute. We'll see. He's so cute. Yeah, that looks like it's kind of Russian tool. So I'm thinking if you jack this, jack, and I direct it and, and hit the first hole, maybe I can get the angle correct so that I can get this, the other holes. Just give me a little pump. Okay, whoa, 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 okay, do that again, a little slower. Oh, turn that handle as hard as you can. Grab it, squeeze it, and turn it to the right. Okay, that'll lock that. Okay, lock it, okay. Now hang on. Okay, give me another little pump. Oh, and that, my friend, is how you do that. Okay, there we go. I got all three of them in. Uh, Leave, leave it there. You are so helpful. You're a mechanic. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, now hopefully I got this on the right side. We shall it's in my see. Wheelhouse. It's in your wheelhouse. I got. It might not be drivable because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm oh, kind of an idiot about this stuff. Cool. But 
if all else fails, this is a structural part of this, so I can't. All right, so we're, what is this called? This is, uh, this right here is the signal fire uh, oyster fest, and then we got, we're in the oyster company, so. Okay. So we're here at the oyster fest, and we're going to do the, all, we're doing the all-you-can-eat oysters. And this guy's going to leave me at least one, I bet. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I will. i got to get the lady one first. All right. And it's, it's happening in real time, so I'm going to grab one. Show me the hat we got. Over here, I got some that are roasted with butter. And I got clam over here. You. So now I'm here at the Ghost Fleet tent, and I'm going to grab some of their raw oysters. So these I know are terrific. We just had a couple of dozen recently. These people do an amazing job. They farm these right here in the area. So there's your first oyster. Look at it, it looks amazing. And that's uh, cilantro and lime and some different herbs. Shallots, I think. Well, it's not happening right now, but it was like I did this and it was like. Oh, static? Yeah. Oh. oh so Don't you electrify your mama. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. Love you. The other side of the creek is frozen. Do you know that? Where? There's frost on the other side of the creek. It's so oh, cold. Yeah. Come, hey, come here. Come here. Come here, you. Bring me a tree. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, not really. I was kidding. Oh, God. He's going to, he's going to impale somebody. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, stop. What the hell are you doing? Oh, stop. So what is it? Oh, shit. I don't know. Oh, you got it. Get it. Get it, Poe. There you go. Give me that. Give me that tree. Give me that tree. That's my tree. Hey, bring me that. Give, give me that. Hey, that's my tree. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, God. Give me that tree. Give me that tree, boy. I said, give me that tree. That's my tree. Give me that tree. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. I could have been punctured, though. Yeah. The bathroom box. So Netflix is filming in North Carolina again. <laughs> I know the uh, my shows are starting up on uh, networks after the Super Bowl. Oh, no. <laughs> she had to take this off though. Happy <laughs> birthday, dear Walker. Happy birthday. Look, look, look. Oh, 
I'm Wait, working on that. Walker, <laughs> if you're 30, if you're 30, how is it that your we mom is 35? Music. Yeah, what could that be? <laughs> and, and, and your sister's 32. I don't get yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. So well, if mom's 35, then I'm... Then you're 18. No water. Boy, don't you hate that? I've got the... I've got the main pipe coming into the house tented so that I can thaw it out. Ah, I've got a... It's a not so... A not so safe situation here but I want it but I'm watching it um, I have to watch this I've got a heater a heater in, enclosed under here and uh, I'm heating the pipe to thaw it out that's uh, <clears throat> the unfortunate reality is that it got so cold last night and we are not accustomed we're not designed for this down here I'm watching and waiting I'm trying to thaw this sucker out. We shall see. Come on, you want to see how a chicken lays an egg? I'm going to show you. Somebody laying an egg? Oh. There you go. Good job. I saw that. That didn't hurt a bit, did it? Good girl. Everybody's laying now, huh? Thank you. A minute. I'm not getting in your shagging wagon. Get in. Not unless you show me the candy first. <laughs> you can do it! I'm so used to shifting right here. <laughs> right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. First time ever driving a red side <laughs> driver? Yeah, this is really cool. <laughs> it's so cute. It's funny. I keep wanting to reach with this hand for the I feel shifter. like I'm in an amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I go after this? Uh, this is Bayshore Drive, so try to get up to 70. I'm just 70. kidding. Well, you're at 60 kilometers now. <laughs> so if you're wondering, I have a mobile spray tanning business. So I drive around, I go to my clients' houses. I've got awesome, beautiful clients that I've been going to for years. And I can just spray tan them. They get in the van. It's so convenient for them. Um, it runs everything and basically you can use it for any type of business. Uh, I know another van that I had used to be a dog grooming business. They could have used this. I mean, it works so great and it, it, it just makes everything streamlined and easy. Now I'm putting a deadbolt in this door and it's uh, two and three eighths, you know, this measurement here here to here, I guess you would say. Um, and they have these that you can set for two and three eighths or two and three quarters. Isn't that cool? And it's got a, a, a hole saw. How awesome is that? Now, I could do this template, which is the old school way we used to do it. Um, what you do like this, you take this onto the door and you do your pilot hole like so. See how that works? And you get your, your hole for your uh, 
bolt in your hole for your lock assembly. But uh, yeah, I like this way. Nice thick old door and the smell. Look at that plug out there. See that? And pow. Where do you put? I mean, it's not, this is old. But yes. Wonderful. This is a mobile home with one of those cheap mobile home doors. They're just very uh, poorly made. Well, they're just cheaply made, I should say. They're not homey, they're homely. Um, but I'm taking this one out and a friend of mine had one that uh, was in his storage unit. I just happened to ask him, hey, do you have any doors? My friend Rob, and he said, uh, yes, I do, come check. And I checked, and it is, what he found for me was 32 inches, just like this cheap mobile home door. The only thing I have to do is add to it. And, of course, you know, get, get some, uh, do some milling. Well, not really, but, you know what I mean. Make the hinges, make the hinges work. So this door will go in like so. Problem is, there is... Uh, space at the top but it is a really good fit otherwise so I have to fabricate the top of it and uh, we'll have a nice door and we'll do a treatment over this window that is leaked and you know of course it's got condensation and debris but we'll we'll uh, put blinds over the interior and we'll put a film on the exterior or both so you won't even notice it but it'll let light through see and then there's a storm door anyway to have a, the open door for you. So you see? Just hang in there. Yep, yep, hang on. He's in it, Oliver. Right here. <laughs> he doesn't like Oliver too much. Oliver's about to clean of it, I'm pretty sure, too. <laughs> I just saw this thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting mine down. I think if you, I don't think he's gonna stay. Hop in, Ollie. Come on, good boy. Stay there. Stay there. All right, I'm being peace. God damn it, Jason. <laughs> well, I was going down the highway there, and I pulled off on this road, this country road here, because I seen this chicken right here, and I'm looking back here and see if maybe if I can buy me some laying hens and. Ain't nobody in them, any of them trailers back there got any laying hens or chickens or nothing. So I reckon that's a wild chicken right there. I don't know. I've never seen a wild chicken. Are you, excuse me, are you a wild chicken? Are you a home-raised chicken? You know, have you ever seen a wild chicken? I ain't never seen a wild chicken. Well, you, got, you must have got you a nice bug, right? What you, that's a big, what is that, a spider? You got a lizard, boy. Give me that lizard. Yeah. It's just it's a, there's a time and a place for everything. Yeah. So I, I am no prude. Well, in fact, I, yeah. And when I do it, I don't subject people that are yeah. not willing to and, look at it. And when you <laughs> say, and when you say subject, you don't mean that it's bad. It's just something that's right. not for everybody. Exactly. That and I think what pe so 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 that's the basic thing that that brings us to the larger point, which is we just need to have respect for each other. Yeah. And decorum.